I'm Davey. I'm Misty. DM Watts. Unscripted. Unedited. Unapologetic. Let's get it. Everybody, what's going on, everybody? I am Davey. <laughs> I missed you. Know, I gotta get flustered you there, but, but we are DM Wise, guys. Welcome to another episode of DM Wise Podcast. Let's go ahead and get into it real quick. The blue and yellow still going on. Sorry, over I'm there. looking at the radar. Mm-hmm. Uh, blue and yellow still going on over there. There's a uh, war still going on in Ukraine. Please go ahead and help those people out in any way possible that you can. But there's been great pushback. Like right. they're, they're they're getting even more yeah. pushback. So, yeah, so please so help those people out are, any way you possibly ha- can. Happening. DMWatchPodcast.com is where y'all can find us at. Catch us on all the streaming services. Also, we got some crypto going on. And our service dog says hello. So, uh, real quick, um, we will also say that if you haven't uh, seen what's been going on with the Canada tornado in Andover, it wiped out a lot of people, a lot of people's homes. So, you guys, please, the United Way, reach out, check out whatever you can to help those people help over there. Help your neighbors. Because what we're finding out right now is that a lot of people's insurance doesn't cover the things that they thought. Yeah. These people lost their entire homes. And now the things that they're dealing with is their insurance saying, well, sucks to suck. And there's your sign to update your, your renter's insurance. insurance. So make sure you guys are checking the insurance, you know, see what they cover <laughs> and things like that. So our topic. The fishbowl topic for today is oceans or mountains. Mm, and I don't even know. What we were thinking when we put that in there, <laughs> but okay, <laughs> oceans or mountains. However, I will say this: they both scare the hell out of me. So they a, do. They both oceans. Okay, oceans are good to look at from a distance. I'll sit in a balcony, a hotel on a balcony in a hotel in Hawaii and stare at the ocean. Like, isn't it great? Man, that's just so good to look at out there. I'll even get in the, the shallow part where you just put your feet in it. Like, look at that. Look at that well, seawater. He'll wiggle his toes. Yeah, wiggle my toes in. I get in the shallow. When I say shallow, I'm talking about like, you know, two feet. You know what I'm saying? Something like that. But, really? Uh, Are yeah. we going to go two feet? What? As long as you can see your feet. Yeah, yeah I mean, I mean, I, I think you that's, know, hey. You, you didn't fare too well in the ocean. I was trying to get you to swim. Mm-mm-mm. See, you were not. <laughs> no, see, what she's not saying is she was trying to get me to swim in the, the Bahamas. Yeah. uh yeah see that's what i did swim i did bahamas. swim in the bahamas in the shallow end but what she is failing to mention is that there were the wind was blowing and so when you get on those little boats that they have you on and the wind blows you we did get blown yeah away. and we you getting blown over to the line the only thing in your head is barracudas sharks he you was yelling was like, mm-hmm. shark octopus mm-hmm. barracuda hey, you never know man it's eel so get real in the ocean like it's, it's, everything <laughs> but what it was water sand. yeah the ocean is i mean obviously mountains too but that's one of those things that the man has no control over no you have no control what no matter how powerful your submarine is no matter how powerful your destroyer is this this boat that boat got this missiles are, yeah that's great but i'm here to tell you uh, the slightest crack and you up under the water, you at the mercy of whatever's down there. Yep. That's my thoughts about it. Well, but I mean, as far as what would you rather look at, oceans or mountain? Like, are, so are you lake cabin or are you cabana cabin? The sea. Wow. Because see, now I've been to Alaska. So <laughs> yeah, the I mountains, yeah, the mountains over the, the mountainous regions, they're a, a, a wondrous uh, thing to look at, to behold, to tell you the truth. Sure. Because you fi- figure you're driving down the highway and you see it in the distance the mountains it just gives you a different type of peaceful feeling it like, does wow, it's a different I'm one piece. with nature yeah yeah you know what i mean i don't know of that i mean oceans like i said the ocean is great to look at if you're on vacation and you you in a hut not a hut but you know a nice nice uh nice area that you got to right. yourself and you're just looking out at the ocean like look at it that's just beautiful but you ever look at the ocean at night we have Oh, Being yeah. on that cruise ship, now you tell me, did that look beautiful or scary? It looked beautiful. I have yeah, pictures of it. Beautifully scary, I guess, but... <laughs> well, I mean, so I don't know. I guess it's it's hard because a cruise can be kind of a misrepresentation. Because obviously, you know, if I'm on a stranded boat, Gilligan's Island looking at the ocean, no, nah, it's not going to be so pretty. I'm going to wish I was on some mountains. Yeah. And- but, <laughs> you know, I mean, it's yeah. perspective. It is. So, okay, so let's look at the pros and cons because there are two different things, right? There's oceans and there's mountains. So the pros of being able to have that look out at the ocean to you is what? 
what? Yeah, like I'm saying, like for the ocean, you say <laughs> oceans or mountains. Like, so the pros were looking out at the oceans or being there in the, oh, with well, the ocean is what? Peace. Okay. Anything else? Just the peace? Yeah, it's it's peace. I always felt like the, the ocean and the breezes and stuff were always kind of cleansing to me. Yeah. So, but it depends where you're at. Atlantic Ocean is an angry ocean. Um, and yeah. it's amazingly beautiful. A lot more of like waves and, and crashing on the East Coast. And then you go to the West Coast and where I grew up, you know, and it's it's colder and I yeah. don't know. They're both peaceful. They're both cleansing. Yeah. It's a it's like a daydreaming start for me. Like I can just look at it and all of a sudden I'm just daydreaming. Yeah. And I, okay, so I'll say another pro about the ocean is that Especially if you're on a boat you know, that's up high, you know what I mean. Looking at the 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 creatures that jump out of that ocean, mm -hmm. you know, what I'm saying whether it be whales, I I haven't seen whales, but I'd imagine they'd be a sight to behold from far away. You know what I mean? From yeah, that's how I am yeah, too. Yeah, just like they'd like, be a sight to behold. People always trying to get me on whale watches and mm -mm. stuff, and I really wanted to go. Don't get me no. wrong, mm -mm. but I'm just such a land lover. Yeah. I love my land. Yeah. and here's the other thing about that. So it just that scared me. I think I told you the story when I was stationed in Okinawa. My friends used to be like, hey, it was like, hey, Hobbs. I was like, yeah, what's going on? It was like, hey, we're going to go uh, swim with the whale sharks. Okay. And uh, I said, okay, well, y'all have fun. No, no, we were wondering if you wanted to go. No, you weren't. You were not wondering if I wanted to go because I know that you knew the answer to this question before you asked me. You knew damn well what the answer you're, to this question was. very vocal. Like you said, two things that do not match with me, whale and shark. So, and then you're talking about to put the two together and that's what it's called. It's called whale shark. <laughs> okay, no. Nah. So they was like, hey, but they, they showed me a video of what it does. They showed me a video of what the whale shark does, how it eats the, the smaller fishes. His mouth opens oh, up yeah. ridiculously <laughs> wide. And I said, kind of like a filter looking thing. Yeah. And so I looked at him. I said, so if I told you no before, what makes you think showing me that video is like, yeah, he'll definitely change his mind now. He'll definitely want to go with us now. Right? It was like, well, it, it, it can't eat humans. <laughs> it can't. See, so here's the thing. What the, one of the things I can tell you is this, is that when you say it can't eat, eat humans, somebody tried that. You know what I'm saying? So when you say it can't eat humans, like how did they find that out? Meaning it was most likely attempted and it just didn't work out. I don't know if the whale shark y'all going to see got the memo that you can't eat humans. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it know? has a taste for humans. Yeah, how do you know? It doesn't mean it won't try. Like, hey, this is a big old fish. Let's see what I can do with this real Maybe quick. Maybe it thinks you're Jonah. I'm just saying, I'm, I'm just saying. That right there is, is why I'm like, you know, it, they are good to behold from afar on the ship. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm like, the ocean is great. But my biggest thing about the ocean, the biggest con for me, is the ocean. I've always consistently wondered how big old ships are able to just stay afloat like that. You know yeah. what Like big old ships that just be floating on the water. That water buoyancy. Yeah, the buoyancy the thing. I'd be like, like. Half of it is underwater. and Yeah, I'd be like, whole... bruh. Uh, I mean, See? it works. Oh, yeah. I mean, it obviously works. works it but works it's enough just... to convince me to go on a cruise with you. Yeah, yeah, That was yeah. always my thing. I'm like, I'm yeah. never going on a cruise. I don't yeah. know that. We went on a cruise. And, and it was fine. Yeah, it was fine. It, it comes to find out that I don't like smaller boats. Yeah, yeah. The That's big boats went well for you. But I'm great kayaking. Love the kayak. Yeah. Love it. I can kayak, but mm -mm. yeah. <laughs> no. um, so then, yeah, but being a person that's been on, you know, both coasts and stuff, mm -hmm. I, I do love my water. I definitely love the ocean. Um, I love the smell out of it. I, I do. I love the smell of the ocean. But, 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 but. Mm. I'd rather have Mountain View. Really? Yeah. Okay, now why would you rather have Mountain View? Um, it, I feel safe. Uh, for some reason, I feel safe with mountains in the background. Mm -hmm. um, and it makes me feel secluded, even if I'm not. It makes me feel safe. It, it's weird. It has that effect on me seeing mountains in the background. Um, it makes me uh, believe more in nature and goodness it just I, i'm a nature person i like hiking i like trails and being outside and mm. i like 
plants and all that stuff. So I feel like I can get more of that. Yeah. Than yeah. I mean, the ocean. But, well, I think, okay. So with the mountains though, mountains and oceans, I feel the same way. Uh, they're great from afar because <laughs> I don't, I'm, I'm not, look. I don't want to live on a mountain. Yeah, I want yeah. to look at a mountain. Yeah. So a mountain would be great. And look, I even think I would even go as far as hiking on a mountain. Because it, it is yeah. it's most likely something different, you know what I mean? It's like, look, wow, we're on a hike. This is really great. I mean, don't get me wrong. I feel like the tour guy would be like, you know, with Mr. Hobbs, like, you know, you shouldn't pack that heavy. Well, with, you know, we're just going on a short hike. No, see, I have no problem going. It's like, I want to be, see the nature and all that other stuff. Yeah, but is there food in there? Mm hmm And a lot of weapons. So, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Be a lot of weapons in there. Be a lot of left uh, weapons in that backpack that I'm carrying. Like, this is like, so are you going to protect us? No, <laughs> these are for me. <laughs> but see, I no, used to. I'm there to protect myself. Like, I hope y'all make it. <laughs> I used to go to uh, Yosemite a lot as a teenager uh, with uh, friends, family, friends, and we used to camp um, in Yosemite. And having that, those mountains surrounding you, and and those monuments natural mm -hmm. monuments were just amazing and i always thought i was an ocean person because then you know i, I left california and i came to kansas okay. and we're landlocked and there's not really a body of water mm -hmm. um but then i go to oklahoma and visit family and it's the grand lake and i'm like see this is i can do this i i can have this beautiful scenery i just need the body of water yeah. so i can see myself because I miss that that mountainous view or the hills. I, I miss seeing land, yeah, yeah. massive land. However, mm -hmm. when we were driving through Oregon, oh, not so much. Yeah. Well, <laughs> not so, so much. Hold on, hold on. Before you that say that, if you've never driven through Oregon. Uh, and it was uh, November, so the sun was going yeah, down at like 3.30. Oregon is it now don't get me wrong and it was foggy it was what she said not so much but Oregon is, is still beautiful oh it's Oregon gorgeous is, is beautiful, oh my man. god like, it's gorgeous the, the greenery the the trees and all that are a sight to behold just don't drive on the highways because <laughs> you got to understand it's like what are we like are we constantly going down a mountain yeah yeah we were like constantly going constantly. down the mountain it constantly. felt like it was never ending it was like a it, it felt like we thing. never went up the mountain yeah it just and felt like it was just down you'll go down there and be like bro uh, and then you're just like okay how you know i i can rest between this mountain and that mountain yeah but also only in oregon is well i ain't gonna say only in oregon i'll say we saw it in oregon where you're driving and it says hey runaway uh vehicle uh point he had Coming never up. realized that I was like, before. Well, what do you mean runaway vehicle? It's like, yeah, brake you got a brake check, runaway vehicle, uh, and it, you'll go, it's like a ramp off to the yep. side of the highway that lets you. And you're grading. Yeah. Degree. I was like, I, I'm not a fan of this. Yeah. What whatsoever. Like I, there should not be a runaway. And here's, here's the kicker about that. The runaway vehicle lane. If they like, if your vehicle is running away, they're like, Hey, get in this lane. To stop you, it's a big old bed of rocks. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's a big old bed of rocks. You gonna stop? You go like, ain't nobody say you gonna feel the best, but you gonna stop? It's a big old pile of rocks to stop you at the end. Needless to say, we will never. Uh, probably, I'll never get Davy to Kings Canyon. Uh, there's and coming down because there is no runaway. It is straight down, a very steep mountain. The the grading is insane, mm -hmm. um, and it's just cliff. So sheer cliff for about probably 45 minutes 45 minutes of two lane just zigzagging back yeah. and forth and i i and yeah i gotta I, pass you know that. it's amazing to get up there mm -hmm. and see how big those trees are yeah and oh my yeah. god nature's amazing god is amazing <laughs> and then you get in your car to leave and you're like mother what, what is this why so first you here's the thing about mountains you getting up there and you're like wow look this at the beauty Look at the so beauty of God. It's serious. Like you, you're, you're praying, you're meditating. You are literally up there. And in one minute you're praising God. The next minute you're, you want a different conversation yeah. with him. Yeah. Up there, you get up yeah. there in the mountains. You're like, hey, <laughs> you get up in the mountains. You're like, look at this, the glory of God. Yes. You know, the, 
Look, God you know, so he great. was so great. Look at the beauty he created. It's true. And then you start driving. You're like, why would he do this? Jesus, why would you make something wheel. like this? Like, Jesus, Jesus, take the wheel. Why do I have mountains? Angels protect you. You know what I'm saying? It's God, like, I need to speak with I'm you. I'm just saying. <laughs> why can you just make this a four lane highway? You know what I mean? Like, can why? I have a fence? It, it, are you like, bro? Um, a tram? Yeah. It's like, now I was like, that's not. It's not what you just said 10 minutes prior when you were there. It was like, glory be to me. It is, it oh. Was, oh, thank, thank oh, me for yeah, making now. the mountains. And now all of a sudden you're going down and it's like, hey, let's have a talk. Yeah. You know it's, 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 would you make up your mind? I bet he was. Yeah, this is, I bet he was. He up has to be up there like, like bro, make you, up your mind. You people kill me sometimes, I swear. But I'm saying, but then you have that same thing with oceans, right? So you know, you know, we go fishing. Not just oceans, we can even just say any body of water. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You go fishing and all that other stuff. And it's like, hey, just matter of fact, just yesterday, well, I guess two days ago, since you're watching it on Tuesday, I mean, just two days ago, we went fishing. Yeah. And I'm like, man, it's so peaceful and beautiful out here. And then if something takes your fishing pole and, you try, and you're trying to walk in that water to get it, you're like, man, why is this water just nasty? Who would make something like that? Just mud. <laughs> <laughs> like like lord can we just seriously talk about this for a little bit and he's like wow you people are just so ungrateful make up your mind yeah so but when we have that when we have those things but let's 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 curb a little bit and just think about why i mean I, there are some pros good pros to the water too though because if you can just look at the water in the ocean it is so beautiful it is it is very beautiful that is until you get away from the shallow point you know what I'm yeah, it's, the, the, it is scary. I don't, you know, I'm not denying that it can be scary, but I guess my piece, you know, when I was a teenager, I, I loved being around water, but I think I've always just been mm. more of a mountain person. Mm. Mm. It's mm. more quiet. Mm -hmm. That, and like I said, I never get over the fact that, you know, when I would go swimming over in Japan, you know, it's like land, land, and then you could see where the rope is, it's like, don't go past this rope. Right. It's land and then like abyss. It's just dark. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know. Don't get me wrong. If you had a choice to where it's like you got to get thrown into the abyss of water, just dark, or you just get thrown into abyss of, you know, whatever's down this other hole. I mean, I would still choose the one without water in it. You know what I'm saying? I would still choose the dark abyss with no water in yeah. it. Yeah. And uh, I mean, let's be real. The cabin on the lake is still creepy. Mm -hmm. You can make a creepy situation out of anything. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, Disneyland, you can make cre creepy if you have the right governor. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> uh, we just lost all the Florida viewers. <laughs> Hello, Florida. Oh, we probably gained them. You never know. We never probably, know. Just, probably just gained them. Guess who getting tagged this? DeSantis. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to Disneyland. Hashtag DeSantis. Yeah, but uh, so um, I've got a study here from the Boston Globe. Okay, what you got? And it says that uh, travel habits. Tell us about our personalities. According to new research in the Journal of Research in Personality, extroverts prefer the ocean while introverts go for the mountains. Well, I can promise you that I am an extrovert and I am not a fan of the ocean. <laughs> this is not a fan. Maybe we have our, our pet peeves. That's the reason I didn't join the Navy. That's oh, the I reason I, that's the, the reason I didn't nope. join the Navy. Nope. So, I can remember my mom asked me, was like, which branch you going for? And I was like, you know, she was like, what about the Navy or the Air Force? I said, it's definitely not the Navy. I don't mind water, but I definitely don't want to live out there on water. Nope. That's I'm like, not, no, nope, mm -mm. nope. That's, uh, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to <laughs> get that, get that out of there. But, which is why I chose the Air Force. Cause you know, that's so you can less see dangerous. All of it. Yeah. in the air is like, man, this, this looks wet down there. <laughs> so now I got my choice, right? Like it looked wet down there. Oh, look and at then, the mountains then, over and there. then an hour later, it's like, wow, look at those mountains. Those you know what I'm saying? Exactly. That's so no? and that's see, see, that's what you got see, it all. Yeah, that's that was the, you know, it's a reason behind so what smart. I was doing. But we also gotta understand it, you know, don't get it twisted. I'm definitely not complaining about the beauty of nature, regardless. I'm definitely not complaining about it because if you once you've experienced, because I lived in the woods too. Yeah. Was, uh, not lived but spent the night or two in in the woods and i mean i definitely hated it but still it's still a different it's still different over there yep if you're wondering what that sound was that was our dog 
she was away from it. No, no, she ran away. You didn't see her run away. No, I didn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She she ran away from it. Uh, okay. The well, chair fell. We're getting off anyway. But yeah, yeah, we're going to get off here. So, but hey, that's... <laughs> let us know what you yeah, are. Are you yeah. an extrovert, introvert, ocean mountain? Ocean mountain type of person? Or both. Or you, know, you like both. It, uh, to tell you the truth, it, the reality of it is the polls don't matter. If you like what no. you like, you like, like what, you, what like. you like. Yep, that's what it boils down to. So getting back to it, blue and yellow. Make sure you guys go and support those people over in Ukraine uh, any way you possibly They're can. They're going to win. Yeah, I, I, I didn't mean go over there, but I'm saying like just yeah, try to just support them support. any way you can. DMYspodcast.com, where y'all can find us. We also got to say before we get to the next one, uh, look up Andover, Kansas Tornado. You guys, please reach out and help those United people way out. United Way, make sure you uh, try to help those people out any way you can too. That was such an unexpected tragedy that happened over there. It was. Uh, catch us on all the streaming services. Um, we are in some crypto, and our service dog says goodbye to you guys. After she flipped, After she flipped over the chair. But all right, it happens. But signing off for DM1's podcast, I am Davey. I'm Misty. And we hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the day. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Bye. Mm-hmm. Did I take your lipstick again? I think I did. Yep, yep. Yep, okay, I did.